McFarlane and I'm a carer at Balhousie Cooper Angus. Okay. I came straight from sixth form and um, sixth form in Newcastle, so uh, <laughs> I came from a different country technically. Yeah. In my A levels, I did um, health and social care, um, and obviously we we tried to understand it. We did work experience with working with others, and as well as that, I have been a patient advocate with the St John's ambulance for um, helping out with the vaccines. So I, I had some understanding, but there's a big difference between seeing personal care on paper and what you're supposed to do and seeing it in the flesh and actually doing it. Because uh, I won't get into the details of course, but uh, there are times where it can be quite challenging. But on the, I've always felt supported here and uh, just the people around me have always been eager to help. Definitely this care home in particular was very incredibly helpful. I'm not just saying that out of uh, need for the company policy or anything. Um, I can show you an example by the fact that when I got here, um, I hadn't even joined and people were already offering me a lift because I come from Blair Gallery, which is about five miles away. So everyone here is very closely knit and very uh, eager to help you. And I think um, even though I was very inexperienced, uh, people still helped me to understand how to help others. And it's just been a good journey so far. Is it an eye-opener what actually working in a, in a care home? Uh, the, <laughs> I'd be lying if I said uh, it wasn't. No, it's definitely helped me to understand the role that carers have been playing and um, even the challenge with Covid because this care home got Covid just before Christmas which was a nightmare but I think we've all managed to stick together and stay strong and it, it really just shows, shows me the struggles that carers go through but the good times you can have with people who may be uh, are more elderly, maybe have dementia or certain, it's, it's really been quite the experience. Yes. And to become a family, you're spending 12 hours, um, I'm doing four shifts a week, so I'm spending 12, four 12 hours uh, with a, a carer who will be assisting me or helping me and I'll be helping them and um, as well as looking after 10 residents between you. Um, sometimes I'll pick up extra shifts if I can um, because there are challenges within getting enough carers, I think, into the community because it's definitely a tough job, but I think it is definitely fulfilling and rewarding. You do feel a bond between both the carers and the residents as a whole.